start taking down all of the... Please look what I just did with my hair. What is it? Grade 6 again? This is literally me in my grade 6 grab picture. No, grade 8 at grab picture. Who wants to say hello? Oh. Say hi, Miko. Oh. Good job. Wow, you really saying hi. Can you say hi here? Good boy. We're taking down all this Christmas decor. I also want to open up this package that I got from Cider. I also need to take down all of this other Christmas decor. So we're going to put on some music and we're going to do the things. My mom got me this set for Christmas. It wasn't actually one of the things that I included in my haul for what I got for Christmas because I didn't have it yet. But I wanted to show you guys. grocery haul in every single video that I film blog wise but it's just because that's what I do like every week or so, so. okay haul time a little overview right here usually I buy my stuff from like no frills and stuff because it's cheaper but I figured for stuff like meat and also things that are kind of like pre-made like soups and stuff like that I would get it from farm boy since I was there already and yeah anyways so I got these stuffed peppers I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer and I feel like it'd be really yummy I got a steak because I wanted to make some steak this week. I got these frozen beef burgers, these tempura shrimps. At Earl's, they have this like prawn roll thing and it's so, so, so good. I think it has like soy paper around it. I think that's what they use to wrap it and I can't find that anywhere, but I'm just gonna try and do it with either seaweed or with like regular um, tortillas, like just cut up into slices. But I'm really excited to see if that ends up turning out the way that I want it to. And I got the mango because Mango is also one of the things that it, like, is with. And then I got this chicken. I felt like this would be easy to throw in the air fryer as well or just in the oven. Lettuce, cheddar, some orange juice, a tomato, some minced garlic because I was running out. This curry pumpkin soup. I feel like this is going to be really good. Um, I got this meat sauce. I got these brioche buns because they'd be good for the burgers and also just for other things. Got some more sourdough bread because I was running out. I think I have like one slice left. And then I got these beautiful flowers because my house just looks so empty right now with no, none of the Christmas decor. So I felt like this would liven it up a bit. Says on the front, brewing style, dot, 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 like as if like it's loading. That's really cute. The first thing I got was this leather jacket. This is what it looks like. Let me look at it in the mirror one second. Oh, it's actually so cute. Wow. Clayton's calling me. Hello? I was on the phone with Clayton for a little while. This jacket's really cute. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I style it. I've been posting a lot more frequently on Instagram and TikTok lately. I'm trying to post at least once a week on Instagram. So that's been my goal lately, or not lately, ever since the new year started. So I'm trying to make it more serious. I'm trying to take it like a job. I tried the other day to go take pictures by myself and I was literally like, I couldn't do it. I could not get myself to do it. Like just cause I guess people were around. 
So I ended up coming back to my house to take pictures in my driveway. But we'll get there. I just need to get the balls. The next thing I got are these pants right here. They're like these kind of more dress pants, like a straight leg pant. They're definitely a thinner material. And if you look really closely, you can see it's really pretty. So that's fun. And then I got a skirt as well. This little skirt here has like lace at the bottom. I don't have a lot of skirts, so I figured I would get some skirts because, or not some, I would get a skirt. That way I have skirts to wear. That was pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why I had to explain that. Anyways, next top is this right here. It looks a little confusing, but I feel like this is gonna be really cute on. I am so obsessed. I think this was actually one of the pairs that made me look at this site to begin with. They're so good. They're such good pants. So basically they're like a thin material, but not see-through or anything like that. Just like thin as in if you go out in the cold and you don't have anything on underneath them, like leggings or anything, you're definitely gonna be cold in these. Um, but they're like this wide leg at the bottom, tiny, thin, tapered waist, and they look kind of like just like a regular pair of jeans or like pants. Um, and then they have this really cool pattern all over them that's like black and beige. This is a very me pant. Next top I got, I am kind of regretting after seeing it in person. I think online, I just remember wearing tops like this and it was like nostalgic almost, so I got it. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know if I would wear this still. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna try it on and see if it styles like very grade 11 Aaron or if it styles cool, you know? So we'll see. Grade 11 Aaron? No, maybe first year of college Aaron. Next top I am drooling over, another one of the tops that made me actually go on the site in general. Look at how beautiful this is. This is not sponsored. I don't have a promo code or literally anything. This is just all stuff that I bought with my own money. Next pair are these dress pants. So I have a pair of dress pants from Shein, but they're really, really thin. And honestly, just in the winter, they're not practical. They don't fit that nice on me. So I figured I would spend a little bit more money and get a nice pair and see if these would do that for me. They seem like they will. They seem like they'll fit perfectly. Um, I didn't tell you guys sizes. So the pants, like this one is a small, the top that I just showed you here, here is a medium. I think all the tops were mediums and the jacket was a small and the pants were a small. Next top I got, I am in love with. Please look how cute she is. So it's like this very squared off gray turtleneck top. I really love this. I was just about to meditate and I was trying to meditate and my brain would not stop. I haven't meditated in maybe like a week now or so. So I was very distracted and it was getting really hard to like get into it. And I was getting like, oh, like I can't meditate. I keep trying, keep trying. And my brain just keeps catching me and holding me. It wasn't like I was able to see the thought and let it go. It was like, I think the thought and I'd get stuck in it. So I know a lot of people are like that, especially when you begin to meditate. Um, but I have found that when that happens, instead of just getting frustrated and going about my day, I will pray. Like, I'll just start praying. I'll talk about all the things I'm grateful for, or what I want, or whatever it is. This one ended up just being like a long spiel of absolutely everything I'm grateful for. Yeah, I'm just so grateful for my life. I feel like I talk about it a lot. I'm so grateful for the soul that I have, like, the perspective I have on the world. I'm just, I'm just happy, you know? Like, shit isn't always good, but I am just happy and very grateful for my life. Very, very, very grateful for my life. All of that to say, I was just trying to tell you guys, um, yeah, if you're ever stuck and you're meditating and you feel like you can't get out of your own head, just pray. Because it's an easy way to be able to show gratitude and be able to still have that spiritual connection with God or source or the universe or even just yourself. Miko, stop squeaking the toy. I'm having real talks. Um, but what was I going to say? Um, yeah, just pray. That was all I was trying to get at. Now I'm going to sit here and read my book. I actually haven't started it yet, but it came in the mail a few days ago. It is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Everyone talks about this book, and I'm really trying to get off the self-help book 
train because I've been reading so many self-help books and like spirituality books and I feel like it's starting to be like overkill I need to actually just like implement it into my life and give my brain a break so I am gonna get into this and hopefully get lost in this book and that is my goal to get lost in a book the way that I feel like I used to get lost in books like when I was in middle school and stuff I'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer real quick and hopefully it comes out good okay so it's cooking it doesn't seem like the inside is cooking as easily, so I kind of like stabbed it and broke it apart a bit so it would cook on the inside more. I'm gonna have it with this chimichurri sauce. It is in case you didn't see my last vlog, which if you haven't, go watch it, okay? And this is it. It's from Farm Boy as well. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna watch Euphoria. I think the new season came out like yesterday or earlier today or something. So I'm gonna see if I still like it because I'm pretty sure the last season was from years ago. Like I think maybe two years ago and I loved it. I don't know if my taste has changed. I know I have changed in the past two years so I don't know if I'm still gonna like it. But hopefully I will because if so I would love to have a new show. If you have any shows that you'd recommend for me to watch, please leave them down below. I'll I would recommend Good Girls. I loved that show. It was so good. Um, I like Schitt's Creek is really good. I liked New Girl. I liked How I Met Your Mother. Obviously Friends. Obviously Sex and the City. If you haven't watched Sex and the City, I definitely recommend watching it. tag it's basically this apple air tag and you can put it on your keys your wallet i got him this little collar thing um off amazon it came with two which looks like this they're a silicone cover for tags and they're basically supposed to sit on the collar like this so it's flat rather than like dangling dog emoji on it because I, I thought that would be cute and obviously most accurate to miko and I set it up on him, so it should be good to go. I'm watching this clip, or not this clip, but this video, um, it's like on Oprah's, I guess her new show. Um, and it's from the writer of The Untethered Soul, which I've actually never read, but I understand the lessons from it. I just haven't actually read that specific book on it. Um, but this clip in this video, I feel like is a really, really, really good way to capture kind of the whole... The whole meaning of spirituality, I guess you could say, because I feel like a lot, of, a lot of the times when we talk about spirituality, everyone just assumes it's like meditation and, you know, um, crystals and like all of this other stuff. But I feel like this is a really, really, really good way to articulate the actual purpose behind spirituality, because all of the, those other things are just tools, right? Like scripting and all of that other stuff is just tools for manifesting or whatever it is within spirituality but the actual goal i feel like of spirituality is this and i'm gonna i'm just gonna play it and show you guys because i feel like if you get it you get it and if you don't try to like either look into it maybe read the book um another book i'd really recommend is this one right here the greatest secret it's super good it is actually the book that caused my spiritual awakening or started i guess you could say my spiritual awakening you also talk about the loose itself yes what is the loose itself the example we use in the book is that you can have a lucid dream in which some people know about that, that instead of you're lost in your dream, that sometimes you know you're dreaming. Have you ever had one of those? Oh, where, I love it. Where you're aware that you're oh, dreaming. So yeah, and then I've had them to the point where I think, I'm going to get out of this dream. Well, that's beautiful. Yes. Right? So you are then more conscious in that dream than you normally would be, yes. right? Because you're yes. awake. In a sense, you're awake within the dream. Yes. That is what the lucid self is. Mm -hmm. And now do that in your real life that your mind is continuing, life is following in front of you, but you are aware that your mind is moving, that the world is unfolding, but your seat of consciousness is transcendent to that. It's centered at a deeper level. And all of it just goes right by, and you don't have the same relationship with it that you used to have. It's something you're watching, not something you are. Um, but right now I'm just making a little fruit cup with some strawberries and some mango. I just filmed actually my morning routine this morning. So that's why I haven't talked to you guys until 11.32 because I was filming that and then I just went straight to work. As you may or may not know, I have a business. I do lash extensions um, as a part-time job. I've been doing it since I was 18 and it's become pretty successful over the years. And I also went to school for marketing and advertising communications at Humber. Um, so I do kind of have a background in marketing, which is kind of why I was able to even get my business to the place that it's at in general. But I did also mention to you guys that I'll be starting a new course, creating a new program basically for people who have small businesses, whether it's service-based or just 
um, like an online business selling items or whatever it is. Um, and I'm basically going to help build their business and help make it a successful business. It's mainly a digital marketing course, but I do kind of go into the back end stuff of managing the business if it is a service based if it is a service based business. Um, but I just came up with the name and I just made the Instagram and I made the logo and and yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited to get that started. Oh, I wanted to do a quick haul because I went to HomeSense yesterday. I want to show you some of the things I got. First thing, I got this noodle box, okay? Um, but this one is hot Mongolian beef flavored. So I had to try it because that sounds delicious. So I've decided, I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but my condo, or not my condo, my house is very white. Everything is very white. The furniture, the walls, the art, everything is white. And after taking down my Christmas decor, I just felt like I had no life in the apartment. Oh my God, why do we keep calling it an apartment? I felt like I had no life in the house and like it was just very bland. So I decided I want to bring some color into it. So I bought this little box from... Um, Marshalls. It's like a Monet painting on this little, you know, like a kind of like hidden shelf book box. And then the main thing I really wanted for this area in the living room was some art for right above the couch. So I got some and I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I really want it to be like colorful and just bring some nice color into the place because I do have a white painting over there, which I love, but it just doesn't add that like almost home look to it. It looks very like staged in a way. Um, but I also got this brown blanket to add some color and I feel like it just ties in with the paintings really well So these are the paintings. I'm obsessed with them I think they are so pretty the colors and like the tones in the paintings are exactly up my alley and what I wanted for this house like pastel, but it also integrates a lot of other different colors I feel like it'll be really easy to play off of these paintings. Yeah, I was really happy with that the art that I was looking to get online and having custom made and all that was literally gonna be like $500. So I found this for the pack of two. It was like 60 bucks at HomeSense, which is so good. Planning to paint this like a nice pink pastel. I think it'll just look really pretty. I'm probably gonna do like a plaster type paint. The same thing that I did with this where it's like very textured. I can vlog that when I do it. And then the next thing I wanna show you guys is this notebook that I got. So I needed to get a new journal for 2022 because I didn't want to use the same one that I've been using from last year. Main reason that I decided to go with this one, it was actually $5 because it was on sale. But I got this one because, so as you can see, it has like the journal part where it's just like blank lines. And then on this side, it's more of like an agenda. So you can put in what you're doing that week. And I felt like it would be a really good idea for me um, to, when I journal, also put down what I did in the past week or what I've done so far in the week. That way I can see how I'm feeling and how it relates to what I've done that week and I can start to see kind of like patterns in my mood. So if let's say I have my period that week, I'll be able to actually see, oh, okay, maybe the reason I'm feeling this way, feeling this way is because I have my period or a week that I'm super busy or maybe I feel more overwhelmed or you know what I mean? Start to be able to connect the dots of like why I'm feeling the way I am rather than just feeling it and being like, that's just how I feel right now. I feel like it also helps me be more like aware of my feelings and not as consumed by them and... Yeah, so just a little tip. I mean, you could obviously do this in like any notebook. You could just jot down beside it, but I just felt like seeing this kind of sparked that idea. So I grabbed it and I'm excited to start using it. Oh my God, I love them. They look so cute. And they tie in with my flowers. Like, I'm just loving it. I feel like my house looks a lot more like me. I did love the all white. I do love the all white. Don't get me wrong. It's just... I was getting a little bored, you know? It's lunchtime now and I am watching a Tara Michelle video. Forgot that my Nana actually made bacon saltfish and I forgot to eat it for breakfast because I forgot I had it and then I remembered. So I'm gonna have it for lunch. I don't really have that much left, but I'm very excited. I already ate it for breakfast like yesterday um, and it was delicious. Miko is taking a nap.